Hello and welcome to this presentation of PDF to Sage. My name is Ara Martirosian and I'm going to show you how to import supplier PDF invoices into Sage with just one click. The requirements are actually very simple. Your supplier system generates uh, an invoice. This is normally emailed to you. Now most companies print this out and rekey it back in. Clearly that's inefficient, you're rekeying data, you're wasting paper as well as time and potentially introducing errors. The ideal scenario is to take those supplier invoices, save them in a folder and just press one button and import those into Sage. Clearly a lot more efficient. So how does the system work? Well, the system takes information from the invoice and based on a template, it looks the data up and then uses that to create the transaction in Sage. Uh, so in this particular case, you know, you've got an invoice with supplier company details, potentially VAT registration number, emails, and that can be used to look up what the supplier code is in Sage. Similarly, it has invoice numbers, invoice dates in. So let's look at the system in, in action. So here's my Sage system and I've got three suppliers in here which currently don't have any transactions on them. What I'm going to do is uh, here's my email and I've received th these email these invoices via email from these three companies. And what I've done is I've just saved those in a folder and here they are. So there's the first one, second one, so on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press one button and what that will do is it will go through, pick up those folders, go through each one of these invoices, pick up the information that it needs and then start producing transactions, purchase invoice transactions, as if you'd keep those in manually into Sage. Now the system is actually quite clever. It um, not only takes the details and creates transactions in Sage, but it also uploads the images so that they can then be retrieved easily from within a report within Sage, which we'll go into in a second. The system also has the capabilities of having extra logic put in. So when, for example, you have a whole series of invoices from BT for argument's sake for your phone bill, you can recognize the fact that it's BT and then default that to the normal phone account as the default. And this is the log that it produced to show us what it had posted successfully. So these invoices have now been posted successfully. We can go and have a look at them. As soon as I close that, it then takes all of these invoices, puts them into the backup folder, and then date and time stamps them. So we've got those as an audit as well. So if I wanted to go into the, I don't know, the iPad to Sage company, for example, and looked at activities and looked at the outstanding invoices only, here we are. So these are the five invoices that we've just imported using PDF to Sage. If I go and have a look at the Excel to Sage one, it's exactly the same. But from here, I can't see the images. But what I can do is look at these three companies Let's just refresh it so we can see some balances on there. There we are. Look at these three companies. And then we can then go and run the PDF to Sage image report. And what that shows is it shows all the outstanding transactions for that particular set of companies. And what I can do is then just literally double click on the hyperlink on the invoice and then go and have a look at the image. Very, very powerful. So in effect, you've got a basic document management system built in to the product. There is also an add-on document management system, which is in a separate video, which allows you an awful lot more capability. So, what are the major benefits of PDF to Sage? Well, it's incredibly easy to use. It saves lots of time and money, and it automatically imports things into Sage, which means yeah, there's no rekeying of data, it eradicates errors, and it can also produce Excel files in case you want to manipulate those before bringing those into Sage. It can use almost any computer generated PDF. So in my example, I've used purchase invoices, but you could use bank statements, credit card statements, or anything else. It's, a, it's much more accurate than using scanned paper PDFs. So printing something out and scanning it to produce a PDF holds an awful lot less information in the PDF than computer generated ones, which is why this is a lot more accurate. It's very quick and cost effective to set up, typically less than a day and it can be easily changed. There are various different add-ons. I've already mentioned the document management system for Sage, and please feel free to look at that video separately. And you can also have as many lookups as you like built into it. I've mentioned nominal codes, but it can have other things built in there as well. And the PDF can be either in summary or in detail. 
Well, I hope you found that presentation of PDF to Sage of interest. Please feel free to contact us about your specific requirements and uh, call to arrange for your free trial. Thank you.